Welcome back to Internet guys, it's time for another anime first impression video. I have a lot of series that I have watched, haven't recorded them, so hopefully I have time today to record quite a few so I can start posting them for you here in my channel, guys. Uh, this is going to be on um, one that is airing here on Crunchyroll called Let This Grieving Soul Retire. Um, it is a series that I think at uh, time of recording now there's two episodes, so there'll probably just be two episodes by the time I post this video. Um, but uh, I've only watched the first episode, so I'll throw that out. Uh, it's just, it's been hard to record, and just it is what it is. I've uh, been able to watch, but just not record. So um, go check out my other first impression videos. I do have some out, uh, more to come this week and the following week. Uh, I'm just going to focus on first impression videos. Uh, I am reading mangas as well, but um, I'll start posting those once I have my first impressions out of the way so uh thank you for the love and support that you do show this channel if you want to follow me on social media check out the description below uh thank you guys so much for getting me at 5,000. i didn't even mention that in my channel update but yeah we're at 5,000. so thank you so much um okay let's talk about let this grieving soul retire um it, it, it kind of makes you think that it's about an old guy but it really isn't uh, he's He's a young fella. Um, it, he is a guy who basically doesn't want to be an adventurer uh, and the leader of an adventurer group, um, but he just kind of ended up in that position. So um, I guess there's there's two different stories really running around in this first episode. You have kind of how he became the leader, and then you have the, the whole recruitment, uh, side story well, not not really side story main story uh so i guess we'll go with uh, the past first him and his uh i believe there's five or six friends um they yeah it was six friends because there were seven in total they wanted to basically have uh, the strongest clan and be the strongest heroes in the world right and everyone was very talented except him uh, so at one point he decides that he wants to leave the group. He doesn't want to be a burden and he is telling the speech to them and everyone, I guess, is ignoring him because at one point they all go, you know what? You give really good speeches. You should be our leader. And everyone's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He should be our leader. Uh, again, he doesn't, he doesn't have anything going for for him. Um, he's not strong. He's not fast. Uh, nothing like that. The only thing is that he's pretty. Uh, he has wits. You know, he's he's smart in in his own way. Um, so that's how he ended up being the leader of basically a pretty strong uh, group. Um, we do hear different things as the episode goes on of him. Essentially, he's been a leader for that that long. He's never had to really get into fights. Um, he finds ways around basically everything. Um, so come to the actual real episode. People are lining up into a tavern because they're hearing that a clan who never recruits is finally recruiting. This is their clan. Um, he is basically in a disguise. He has a hood. We don't know who he is. We're assuming that he is someone who just wants to join the group. We find out eventually that the group is his friends. So we kind of assume that he wants to be with his friends. And then later on, we find out that he, his, he's in, um, cognito. He's, he's hiding from, from the public eye. And so he's actually the leader, right? Through his hiding, he makes, I guess, two friends. One who really is a friend. She's a female who wants to join the group. But another one who kind of bullies himself into being his friend, I guess. Um, and it just kind of falls into, like, he doesn't want to be there. So when they ask him if he has any, like, recruits in mind, those are the people he comes up with, right? Um, they, they also ask him if he can um, come up with a a group that uh, oh, sorry a way to recruit people and he takes off a ring and says okay whoever can get this ring you know will be part of the group and he throws it and basically everyone starts fighting each other for the ring 
Um, at the end of the day, they destroy the tavern, and the one that ends up with the ring is already a member of the group who, I guess, she really wants to get the appraise, uh, or the praise, not appraise, the praise of him. So she ends up basically saying, here, master, here's the ring, et cetera, et cetera. He's like, he's like keep it. You earned it. And by this point, he's been yelled at and given a stern conversation about not destroying the tavern. And because of it, he's going to have to pay for damages, which he's okay with it. But secondly, he now has to go and ex uh, do one of the missions for, for the group. And the mission he chooses is basically to rescue individuals. Uh, without knowing that it's the most dangerous one, he, he picks that one. Um, so he's not going to do it. He finds ways around it not to do it. And this is a way around it. He tells her that's basically a way of training. And it's, he sends her to essentially do the mission. And uh, as well as some of the new recruits, which, again, we found out uh, through that tavern. So um, that, in a nutshell, is the first episode do I like it or not? Um, it has a lot of good elements of uh, the adventure aspect, the action aspect. We get, you know, the um, there's not really like fan service in your face, but, you know, there's still cute girls and all that. I mean, you get all the whole um, magical adventure type of anime, but it's kind of more like behind the scenes. And I like that in its own way. I like that the main character is not OP. Now, granted, I do feel like this character is actually OP, and he just doesn't know it. He hasn't awakened his powers yet. Um, but at the time of watching and stuff like that, all I can say that he's not OP, right? I, I just have my um, assumptions that he probably in the future is going to become OP, and it's going to, like, you know, basically... Um, show show us all in, in, uh, that he in fact can actually fight and he didn't know but now he knows so he's going to use it for good so I don't know I, something like that um, but I do like that he is finding every excuse and every way to basically get out and be out of the team as well and they just misunderstand every single uh, situation and every single opportunity that he, he creates into basically he's teaching them a lesson or showing them that he can do more or whatever. So, um, yeah, in a nutshell, I believe uh, this is going to be one of the ones that some people will talk about. I don't think it will be top five of people. It might fall in some people's top tens, but we'll see. For now, go check it out. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Uh, I do have more first impressions for you. Hopefully, I can record today. Um, it is a busy day, so it just it is what it is. Uh, thank you guys for your love and support. And like always, don't be strangers. See you guys.